Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Uh, many of you asked me before like what are the important apps that you must know when you arrive in Netherlands for the first time. So there are many apps, there are many videos. I will just highlight five to six important apps which are really really necessary when you arrive in Netherlands for the first time. For those of you who don't know who I am or subscribed recently, I'm Sambit Praraj. I do all these videos on studying and living in Netherlands and Europe. So do check out my channel. There are many videos, more than 200 videos, and you'll get a lot of insight about studying and living in Europe and especially Netherlands. So yeah, let's start with the uh, first app. So first, obviously, you will know because it's a uh, I mean, there are a lot of English speakers, but still it's a non-English speaking country as the primary language. So you will need Google Translate uh, for most countries in Europe. And the next one is BuneRider. BuneRider is like the weather app, which will give you every hour, every minute insight about the weather of that location. And it's very, very useful in Netherlands because it rains a lot. And it's also sometimes very windy. The weather can go really bad. So it's... I highly advise you to have a BuneRed app in the phone so that you can click it whenever you like it. Uh, the next one is ns.nl or 9292.nl. Uh, it's actually not or, they are both different apps, but uh, I would say like you would need both. And in my experience, uh, if you want to check the trains timetable inside Netherlands, then 9292 is not that useful my experience is ns is the best because that's the national train provider and uh, to check for trains it's best to check in ns and uh, for all other like uh, bus tram metro and everything 9292 is the best so these are the two transport based apps and the next one is Thois Bizok. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly, but it's basically a food delivery service. You will basically need it maybe if you want to order something online. So it's very similar to Zomato or Swiggy that we have in India. And the next one is uh, Duolingo. It also depends on your personal preference. Like if you want to be familiar with certain keywords or uh, certain terms, like if you want to translate from Dutch to English or English to Dutch, then it will help you a lot. It's more like uh, help you to learn the language so I don't know it depends on your personal preference uh, you may not have Duolingo it's not that compulsory and uh, finally I would say like uh, two apps uh, one is the ABN Embro uh, or ING like depending on the bank you have there are many banks I made a video on the banks you can check it flashing on the screen so you whichever bank you choose try to have their app it will be very useful to manage everything because everything is digital, at least in Netherlands. Uh, you can always go cashless and uh, manage everything. So yeah, so I think finally I missed one that is DGID. That is, I think, until now I don't have it in my phone, but people recommend it. So it depends, like you can use the browser version, but DGID is basically like a digital identifier, which I explained in details how it is useful. It, it helps you to connect to every service inside Netherlands. Uh, I explained that in that video also flashing on the screen. You can check it out. So basically these are the apps that you should have when you arrive in Netherlands. I don't know how much apps I covered, six or seven. So. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to smash the like button if you like this video. Please share this video, help each other out. Uh, I hope that soon you arrive in Netherlands. Mostly people who are coming in fall, I don't think they will come very early, but uh, maybe you will come sooner or later. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Till next video, goodbye from Valkenburg, Netherlands. Peace.